Now that I've achieved financial freedom, I decided to put less money in the stock market and save up for my next investment instead. What do you think that investment will be? An investment in my mental health by soundproofing the literal hell out of this house? Meet my neighbors, aged, teenaged, behind a very thin wall that's about two meters away from where I'm sitting. An investment in lifetime memories by traveling across Japan for about a month. This is me in Japan back in 2009 and I've been promising myself to go back ever since. Or an investment in mortgage-free living by getting a rental property that will cover my part of the monthly payment. Here's the outstanding balance of my mortgage. It's good debt, but it doesn't feel good to have to pay it every single month. I've done some thinking and I know what I'm going to do, but pick your guess and I will let you know later in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to my quarterly portfolio updates. Here's what I'll cover in today's video. We'll start with my old ISAs and current SIP with Vanguard, then move on to my old and current ISA with Invest Engine, and finally we'll take a very, very, very brief look at my Trading212 and Free Trade accounts. Last but not least, I'll let you know my investment plans for this tax year. Let's go, let's start. All right, so we're starting with Vanguard. So let's take a look at the transactions of the whole portfolio. First, I put £1,000 back in March into my pension. And then in April, I received some dividends from my non-accumulating funds, so my distributing funds, and I quickly reinvested them into my ISA and into my pension. Now let's take a bird's eye view of my whole portfolio. My portfolio value is 193,000 and something. And these are all my holdings. As you can see, some of them repeat, some of them are in the ISA, some of them are in pension only. I haven't bought anything new since the last update. So there's nothing new. And the only one in red on the whole is the emerging markets. Of course, nothing new here. Let's take a look at the performance and move it closer to the last time we did see it. So it was close to 200 and then it just went down and now it's very much a side trend, nothing happening. Let's take a look at the calculations. So all the fees in this portfolio. Month by month performance, so more easy to understand and clear to see one. My rate of return is 22%. On the whole since I started this portfolio in October 2019 but as I explained in previous videos it's not annual rate of return it's my personal rate of return so since March 2023 this is what's been happening let's take a look at my favorite tab the inside tab these are my product types in the whole portfolio my top eight geographical regions and top 10 investments. Sector allocation and performance over the last three months. That's great because now we're doing the quarterly updates. It's gonna show us exactly how it's been going on. And my rate of return is minus 3.24%. Hooray. Let's finish off the Vanguard portfolio update with the overview so you can have an idea how much money I have in my ISA and how much in my pension. So this is it. I've got more or less 80,000 pounds in my ISA and 114,000 in my pension. Okay, so the next one is the Invest Engine portfolio. Let's take a look what's been happening here for the last quarter. This one has been much more lively than Vanguard because I actually did have my ISA in the last tax year with Invest Engine. So let me run you quickly through all the transactions. There were some ISA top ups, then purchases, then more ISA top ups, and more purchases. Then I got some dividends and more ISA top-ups and more purchases. Let's take a look at the whole portfolio quickly. So this was the first year of me using Invest Engine for my ISA. I'm really happy with the platform and I will continue using them for my this year's ISA. The value of my portfolio is slightly over 19,000 pounds and these are my holdings. Let's quickly take a look at the analytics. So I'm invested 100% in equities, and these are the regions I'm invested in, the sectors, and my holdings. Of course, there's quite a few of them, over 2,000. So we can see the biggest holdings are on top of the list.
I'm not going to go to the bottom of this page. So as you can see, I almost reached the 20K ice allowance last year, but missed by a few hundred pounds and I'm absolutely fine with that. If you want to start investing with Invest Engine and you want a 25 pounds welcome bonus, you can get it by using my referral link and you'll find it in the description of this video right below. It's possible that you're just starting your adventure with investing. You put some money into your account, hope for some growth, but now see it diminish and feel tempted to stop. It's perfectly normal, many people feel this way. Let me show you something that will very likely make you feel better. This is a screenshot of my YouTube channel subscriber analytics for the last 28 days. You see those reversed spikes? That's when people unsubscribe from my channel. It's possible you've never seen such bad results because, well, because most YouTubers show their highs, not their lows. But trust me, lows happen all the time. Just like with investing. What you do is you focus on what you can control. In case of your portfolio, on your consistent contributions. In case of my channel, consistent and hopefully better videos. We can't control the markets in any shape or form. We can only control our behavior. So don't stop, keep going, you'll get used to the lows. Now, very, very briefly, my trading to one two portfolio, which I call my money pit number one. And you can see that I invested 1500 and my return is, well, over 70% loss. Some of these investments are terrible. Let's just go through them. Just look at the numbers. Right now, I'm not doing anything with them. Some of them are penny stocks, terrible, terrible choices. And these will definitely go soon. But some of them like Beyond Meat and even Halfords are not doing great and I'm keeping them for longer. The plan for this portfolio is to consolidate all the losses and just put them in something that actually is going to hopefully bring me some profit long term. Fingers crossed, I'm going to tidy up this portfolio in the next quarter. As you can see, I don't use an ISA, I use a general account with Trading212 and I'm perfectly happy with that because my holdings are so small and I'm not doing much with them. But they do offer an ISA if you are really concerned about tax. Also, you don't need to live in the UK to use Trading2 and 2 because they are available in many, many countries. Personally, I think that the best thing about Trading2 and 2 is that they offer you a lot of flexibility. You can invest in funds, but you can also invest in individual shares and all that commission free. So what's not to like? So check them out. And if you use my referral link, the one in the description of this video, as always, you'll get a free share to begin with. Finally, a quick look at free trade. The value of my portfolio is £291.67 and I already gave you a max view so you have a clearer picture, not the last three months or six months. I haven't looked at this portfolio for quite a while. To me, this portfolio is a money pit, it's money lost. I closed as many positions as I was able to, but some of them I got stuck with. Let me show you. The last three positions, so Yandex, Everest Steel and Ozone are actually Russian holdings and because of the war between Russia and Ukraine I cannot do anything with them, they just frozen. This is the risk that I took when investing in those companies. There isn't really much to talk about when it comes to this portfolio, you can see that it's all in red and I'm not going to touch it for the next quarter. And so all the numbers behind us, let's talk briefly about my plans for the coming year. My goal was to invest a thousand pounds per month or twelve thousand pounds in total this year, so in 2023, I've already surpassed that goal as I've invested £17,000 to date. And this brings us to the question I asked you at the beginning of this video. My investment plans. I won't be soundproofing this house. I think I will need to keep wearing my noise cancelling headphones. I also won't be going to Japan this year. Together with my friend or with my boyfriend, time will tell who will be braver, I'll be buying my first rental property. So the money that I would normally put in my investment accounts will be put away for that. I will continue publishing my liquid asset portfolio updates every quarter, no matter what contributions I make, as I know from you that it helps you stay on track with your investment goals. For now, that is all. If you enjoyed this video, I will appreciate you giving a like. And if you want an answer to this question, and find out how I saved the money to be able to invest it in such a short time, here's the video in which I share my journey and what I learned along the way. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.